Hi, Jazz Delicious people. Unicorn Jazz back with another video. Um, so with this this video, I want to show you guys the easiest way to make Mega Neon Legendaries. So let me show you something. I have a lot of Mega Neon Legendaries. So I've, I've leveled up so many Neons. And all these are friendship. Um postings so some of them I got from trading but like these I leveled all these up um, I think I got one neon um, bat dragon from trading but I've leveled up a lot of legendary pets um, even before they started giving us well they were giving us the age of potions, but I wasn't really using age of potions. Like I leveled up all these neon shadow bat, um, strawberry bad dragons by myself. All these friendship levels, um, full grown post teens. So I, I did trade for some, but all these friendship ones, most of them are leveled up by me. So the first thing is the age potions. The age potions are great. And they really help a lot. So, oh, I don't want to use that one. So, you get them from the lures. You get them from, um, from leveling up your pets, your um, full-grown pets. So, I wasn't using any age of potions. Um, I was just leveling up the pets by myself, just without the age of potions. So, let me show. So, I have 26 now because I have been using them. So I'm gonna show, I'm gonna give you some tips and tricks on how to level up legendary pets without using so many of your age potions. Because you don't wanna use all your age up potions on one pet, you wanna level up multiple pets to make a mega. So what I do is I will take one age potion. So if you're going from newborn and you use one age potion, you're gonna hit, you're gonna, Finish all of newborn and most of junior with one age potion. So we're going to give this to our pet. Okay, now watch what happens. Newborn and half a junior. So that was good. So I'll probably use, well, I usually use two age up potions on each pet. So let's feed him another age of potion and it's going to go probably till half a teen, I hope. So let's see. Oh, preteen, I mean. Okay, so it goes up to preteen. So every age level that you go up to, the right, the age of potions don't work as much. So that was two age of potions right there. So let's use another one. So this is three. Okay, oh, let's feed our pet. So it's going to go from preteen to teen. See how it did all the preteen, but just a little bit of teen. So after that, it might do half a teen. The next one will do half a teen and another half a teen. So you have to use like probably about four, four or five more age potions to level up one pet. So we use, I think we use three age potions so far. So that's as far as I will go with one pet with the age potion. Now the rest of the time, we're going to just take care of our pet. And it's better, it's better when you age up your pet to be a baby. So we're gonna be a baby because we want max amount of money as well as aging up our pet. So when you're a baby, I recommend so everybody don't have a bees blaster. I do have a bees blaster. Let me show you what it looks like. You buy this by buying a real life toy in Adopt Me. And um, so this is the bees blaster and it shoots honey. So you shoot the honey. Your pet can eat it. So I think he needs to eat. And I picked it up. So let's shoot one for the pet. He'll eat it. And that'll take care of that need and then so I'm gonna eat a uh, honey and if I was hungry that would take care of a need so what the honey does it makes you go faster 
when you're a baby, you automatically run faster than an adult does. So you don't have to use up so many um, of your honey. Or if you don't have honey, um, you could use the speed potions. The speed potions work just as well, but they don't give you, um, hung they don't do your hunger. And I have, if you can see here, I have here speed potion and gravity potion um, cauldrons. So I could be, um, produce my own potions. And so you can have a lot of them. Like I have a bunch. I've been using more of the gravity potions for the fire update and not really making them because I used to have like 150 anti-gravity potions. Now I only have 79. So I'm going to eat an anti-gravity potion because you want to be able to move around the map fast. Everybody don't have a fly pet or a ride pet. And even then, they can move faster than, than the you know than the players do, but still not fast. But see, when you're when you use um the 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 speed potions or the honey, you can get from point A to point B way quicker. So all of our needs are met. Um so we're just waiting for some more needs. And my next tip is to make a grinding house. You want to have everything in your house that you possibly need to take care of a pet. And um, so I have these beds to take care of multiple babies and pets in one bed. So I love that hat because it looks nice. It's a nice bed and you can't tell that I have three beds in there. So it's really nice. Um, so we're going to go to the pizza place to take care of that meat. So we're going to teleport to toys because that's the fastest way to get to the pizza shop without just running all the way there. So we're going to teleport to the toy shop. We're going to run real fast in here to get to the toys. I mean, to get to the pizza party. So we're in the pizza party, and then I recommend getting this food here. So um, I do buy from the stands, when, especially when they have like foods for a dollar, like the hot cocoa, because, you know, that's nice to drink. Um, but I like to come here when the pizza party task is um, going on to grab these foods. Because these foods, you can, oh, I hate when I get this this um finger on me so in order to get rid of that i'm gonna turn into an adult switch back to a baby i don't know why that does that if it's just my computer so but when you do that now i'm slow again but i can still jump high so i'm going to eat all i need to do is eat two honey eat two honey so, but what I was saying about these foods here, it only takes one bite and you're, you're full and they're free and it takes care of a whole, a task, the food task, the hunger task, one bite. Look, okay. Who's hungry? Oh, he's hungry. So they have food here, um, food and water here. So let's feed him. Okay, so let's go back to, and then another thing is if you have the plot, the special plot to put your house, I recommend you putting your house there. But if that's taken up, oh man, my second good spot I like is over there by the strollers, because then you could just teleport to strollers and you'll be at your house. But that's taken up. So let's go see. Oh my gosh, all the spots are taken up. Okay, so there's one over here by the supermarket. So you can teleport to the supermarket and still get here pretty fast. But this is my least favorite spot. Especially because you don't get really that many people coming to your house. I like people to come to my house and use my stuff. Um, and possibly look at my menu. People can stand here, look at my menu. See what pets I'm selling because I don't know about nobody in there. Okay, so for right now, there's no needs to do. Okay, all the needs are taken, so we have to wait for some more needs. So, okay, so like I said, 
You want to have your house set up. So I have all these grinding food bowls, water bowls, multiple beds. Like I said, multiple beds. See, me and my pet can sleep in here at the same time, plus another person or pet. Okay, and then the shower. I have my friend. She made me the shower. I could put like 12 pets and babies in there. I have my lagoon, which also we could take baths in. Take baths in here if you want to be nice and fancy. And then just more beds. Like I made this hammock to where an adult could sleep there, but a kid or a pet could sleep there as well. Is he on his back? Oh no, he's on his stomach. I was about to say. Okay, and then just more beds, and then my pianos I have over here, multiple pianos, so you can take care of multiple pets, and it's just a grinding house, so, you know, other people can play with you, it makes it more funner. So, and then, so my next tip would be to use an alt account. If you have a alt, or like multiple devices, like you have some old phones, like your parents' old phones that they're not using, that you can connect to the Wi-Fi, just charge them up, connect them to the Wi-Fi. You don't need the internet. Um, you know, if you have Wi-Fi in your house, and then just make use like a couple alt accounts, and you can take care of your alt account. And two pets. So I wish I would have had this set up before. I um started this video so let me grab my alt okay so I'm hungry so let me show you this food so this is the food I got from the pizza place eat it one time it's done my food task is done okay so that is great I didn't know you could eat that food or get it until one day I accidentally clicked on it and I was like wow this is better than sliced bread Okay, so now I'm getting my alt account. Okay, I'm going to have her teleport to me. I'm going to have her take out a rhino. So it's good to have alt accounts. Okay, so there's my alt. There's her rhino. It's newborn. So, uh, so next, I'm going to go switch to a parent. So I could take care. So I have to drink, eat some more of the um, the honey or the um, the speed potions. So we'll eat. I only have one honey left. So let's just, for the sake of time, let's just down some um, right some speed potions. So the good thing about an alt is when you plan with your alt and you're logging in every day, doing your lures. Um, I recommend having two lures if you do have Robux, but if you don't, I'll see, look, my lures is done. But if you don't have, um, Robux, you can just have the one lure and then your alt, get a lure for your alt. So now y'all both have the opportunity to get age of potions. So I know you can't see it in my alt accounts inventory, but she has 37 age of potions because I don't really use the age of potions that much. And when I do, I'm maybe using two or three per pet. And then, so, um, so I'm not using up all my age of potions. So what you want to do is create a family and invite your alt to your family. So now not only are you aging up two pets, so you pick up the pet. You have her ride your back to get around. Okay, so not only are you aging up two pets, but you're getting triple the money. Triple the money. And you see that? I put all three babies in one bed. That's genius. Okay, so they're sleeping. Okay, somebody is thirsty. The, the uh, her volcano. So the only thing about having two of the same pets out at the same time sometimes it is difficult to determine which one see this one's not the one that's hungry or thirsty it's the other one so sometimes it is a little bit difficult to see which one is hungry but you'll get used to it 
And so, like, right now, you see my aunt needs to eat. So, I didn't get her food. So, I would have to get her food. So, I do that. Have her collect food. Okay. So, she has her own tasks um, to get more money. So, what I would do with my aunt, because she's getting age of potions with the lures and stuff like that. So, let's have my aunt feed her pet a couple of rye potions. Oh, you can't see. I'm sorry. So, she's feeding her pet. See how I went up all the way from newborn to most of junior? So, that's good. So, she's going to feed her pet. Two age up potions. Okay, let's see here. So he's eating another age up potion. Go to pre -teed. And then let's just do one more age up potion. To get him to teen. Okay, because now after that, using age up potions, you're not going to get too much progress with them. You have to need. You have to eat more to fi to finish the level. So I would just that's all, that's all I recommend. Just um, using the three age of potions, get your pets to ten, and then take care of them that way. Okay. So now look, we have another task, and it's not boring because you have other stuff that you're doing. So we want to hurry up and go faster. So the shower is the fastest way to do the, do the bath. It's faster than the bath. I'm taking a, a bathtub. Okay, so then you want to get out your stroller. Okay, so I put the pets on the stroller. I like to do that. I like the aesthetic. And then I'll pick up my, my alt. Now, sometimes, I don't know why if it's just me, but if my alt is riding on my back, and I go into the toy shop, I get stuck in the door. So let's see if that happens. Okay, I didn't get stuck. So, because usually I have two walks with me. So I'm taking care of three pets at the same time. Because that's the fastest and easiest way to level up pets. So now I'm in the salon doing my salon task. And the age of potions are great. But, like I said, you don't want to use all your age of potions leveling the, the pet all the way to full grown. You level them up to a certain point, like to teen, and then take care of the teen and post teen. And um, so, because you want to save your age of potions for other pets. Because you have 16 pets to make a mega. So, the, the, the rhino is hungry. So, we come here. We're going to feed the rhino. Okay, and there, so the task is over. Now, sometimes it does take a long time in between tasks. So what I would do is do a job. Do a job, because watch, let's see how long it's gonna take for the next task. So if you do the job, you're getting money while you're waiting for a new task to come up. Because I've noticed, like, I would just be sitting there and no task. I'm like, man. And then my friend, she's always doing the jobs. I would never do the jobs. So, but then I noticed, like, I have a whole lot of time where I'm not making any money. I'm not doing any tasks. So, like, see how long it's been since I had a task? I could have been doing the job. So, let me give you an example. Okay, so... I'm going to do the job. I'm going to have my aunt do a job. I'm going to have her be the manager. Okay, so she went. She's she's the manager. Oh, she can't be the manager. Someone else is doing it already. So that sucks. So it's good if no one's doing the job, the manager job, for you to get the position. So then you can um, give your aunt a raise. And then you change, let the aunt be the manager, and then you let um, the aunt give you a raise. So we're going to do the job, and you're getting bucks. See, I just made 10 bucks. 
when we normally, if we would have sat there, it would have been a long time before a task would come. Because I know I played this game a long time and I didn't used to do the jobs and I would just be sitting there waiting for a task. So it's like, what do you do? So you come here, you do a job, or if you want to go, you know, go to the square, try to do some trading or something just to pass the time. But to me, doing the jobs, this is how you get the the max amount of money. Because I want the max amount of money. I want the max amount of aging up the pets. I want to max maximize everything. Okay, my name should be Max, okay? My friend's name is Max. Because um, I'm, I'm, I'm for maximizing everything. So right now, so we had $20.00. So we're just gonna sit here and do this uh do this job. Okay, let's see if, if the person's done with being a manager. Okay, so she's done with being a manager. Okay, so now I'm the manager. So I'm gonna go and I'm gonna give my alt a raise. Ten bucks. Bam. So she's got the the ten bucks raise. So I'm gonna wait right here while she goes over here to be the manager. I'm gonna switch positions real quick. You know, I let her wait over there so that when I do the regular job, she can hit the manager real quick. Cause you don't want someone else to get the manager position, you know, instead of you or your aunt. So she's gonna give me 10 bucks. Bam. So now, now we both got 10 bucks. So extra. So we just wait here. Nobody else is working. So if someone else was working, I would be giving them a raise too. Oh, she's working. Okay, so she's working. So let's see if we could give her a raise. Let's give her a raise. Bam. See, that was nice of us. I remember one time I gave this girl a raise and then I was like, okay, you be manager. Give me a raise. And then she wouldn't give me a raise. She said, oh, girl, I give you my money. <laughs> I'm like, it's not even your money. It's adopt me money. So I think it's over. So we got the full maximum amount of money. So I'm going to stop working. I'm going to turn my all into a baby. Okay. So my all's back to a baby. Uh, I'm going to get out my stroller. Okay. Get out my stroller. Collect my baby. Okay. She's hungry. So we're going to feed her. She didn't have to get any food. But she has some food in her inventory. So I'm going to just use that. Because normally I would get her food. Because I have food in my house. I have everything in my house that you need to take care of a pet, except for, you know, the tasks, like the pool task or the task you have to do outside. Okay, so look, now we're going camping. And the thing, too, about the job is, so we're going to teleport to gifts, because I think that's the fastest way to get to the campsite from the gifts. Did I drink... I didn't eat, I eat, okay, so I did eat gravity potions. I didn't eat as much as I usually do. I usually do about four gravity potions to make me jump higher. And I only took a little bit of the, um, oh man, someone's in here. So to get in here, you push, so look, you could get in here for free. So you want to go here, sleep, you. So now you're in for free. Uh, you put your pets, I put my pets first. And then my baby. Okay, so this is giving me maximum dollars, maximum age up. Okay, so they're asleep. So you pick them. Okay, so for this stroller, you might be able to get out the door without opening it and paying the fee. So you just walk through. Bam. Walk through. Everybody's fighting for the shower. Okay, so we're not gonna fight for the shower. So after this is done, 
We're going to teleport to the supermarket because that's where our house is. So we're going to teleport to the supermarket. And I like my shower better in my house. So let's go to the house because we're not fighting for the shower. Okay, look, I could be in this nice, beautiful house with all my nice, beautiful plant displays and put my baby and my volcanoes. In the shop, in the bath, and look, it's not even the bath task yet, so we didn't even lose no time. So we'll just wait for the bath task. There it goes. Okay, so we wait for the bath task to finish, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my alt. Okay, and I'm going to take her over here. This is where all my food is. So I'm going to take her over here and let her get food. And then when we go to the pizza shop, she'll get food from the pizza shop. So, you know, because I don't like using all my food out of my inventory. That's for, like, emergencies. Like, if, you know, I log in and I can't get to the food right away, I have food. I could eat in my in my inventory so we just try to save that as much as we can and my bird bath here you could get water from that see look get water I just thought that was cute <laughs> so I made that where you could get the water okay so she's getting everything okay so we got to be done because we have tasks to do okay so okay, let's pick up our baby Okay, we'll pull out our stroller, which we really don't need to pull out the stroller, but in order to see everybody's tasks, so one rhino needs to drink, because we know, so it wasn't that one, so let's do this one. Okay, so we're going to pick them up, and then we're going to come over here while he's drinking, and we're going to put them here. Okay, he's going to come when he's done. Okay, so he's done, now he's hungry. So, but we're just going to put him on the piano. Okay, so put him on the piano. And our, oh, I guess that was our rhino that's hungry. So we pick up her rhino. Is this mine? No, that's hers. Pick her up. So she's thirsty. So we're going to have her drink. You know, taking care of pets, multiple pets, multiple babies, it helps the time go by faster too. Because you're not just waiting for your pet to get a task. Your baby gets tasked too. So it helps the time go by faster as well. So, let the okay, see, it was the wrong one. So we're going to pick him up and try to put the right one. Okay, and then we're going to get our bait, our money. I still have yet to get the 10,000. And this is just showing you how to grind for bucks and to age up. See, look at our teens. Quarter of the way done already. Okay, I've only used three um, age of potions. So I still have plenty of age of potions. Three, I could level up eight more pets with these age of potions. By the time I get to level up more pets, I'm going to probably get more Age of Potions from the Lures. So it's like an endless supply of Age of Potions if you use them the right way. If you're not just using them, just, I'm going to level I just don't want to level up. I'm going to just, I don't want to raise up pets. I'm going to just use all my Age Potions. Now you don't have no Age Potions, you know. So I see, look, how we're waiting here. No tasks. We're waiting, 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 no ties. You could teleport to the pizza place, get a job, and make the make it maximum about a bucks because you're working. Make one of y'all be the manager, give the raise. You could get her food while she's doing her job. Um, and there's something to do. You're making money when there's nothing else that you can do. To see, look how long it is before there's been a task. I'm going to sit here and wait to show you guys that once you're done with a task, instead of waiting here, just waiting for another task, 
okay, we got a thirst task, but that's really like, okay, we got one task. But if we were doing a job, we would have got like 20 bucks by now, by the time we've been waiting for this one task to come. Okay, so that was one task, but you wait for a long time in between tasks, sometimes. And then, but when you have multiple pets, multiple babies out, it's like the tasks do come faster. Because one pet going to need something, and the other pet's going to need something, and the baby's going to need something, you know. And I wish you guys could hear in my um, house, I have music. So I play music, listen to music. Um, I have a dance floor. I can start dancing while I'm waiting. Um, but like I said, if I'm trying to make maximum amount of money, which I love maximum amount of money, maximum amount of aging up pets, I'll go do a job. So I would recommend instead of sitting here waiting for like two tasks, I could have been had got 40 bucks right now instead of 20. By the time, look at this, I'm still waiting, no task. So I just wanted to show you guys, do the jobs. The jobs do come in handy. Now it's too late to do a job because now the orange task is going to come and you don't want to miss that. Um, you don't want to miss that task because that task uh, pays you the, the most amount of money is, um, and then all the other tasks. So, and then it's already going to probably be nighttime coming up soon. So like by this time, if I would have went and got the job, I would have had 60 bucks by now instead of the 20 that we just got from the two tasks of the thirsty. And, um, yeah, we would have 60 bucks. And we would have not been so bored just waiting for something and nothing's happening, okay? So I recommend doing the jobs. Yeah, that was a good update for them to bring out. Okay, so pretty much that's all the tips that I have. And like, if you can, if you have more than two devices, three devices, I could, I pay up to with two off. I pay up to with two off, three pets. Some people I be seeing with four alts, but you know, <laughs> that's kind of a little bit too much for me. But one or two alts is plenty, plenty enough to level up pets, level up, and get money. So I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching. And like I said, see how long it's been between the tasks. You could have been working. Got your 60 bucks. And for both accounts, 60 bucks. So hopefully these tips were helpful. Um, thank you for watching my video. So if you like this video, hit the like. Subscribe because I'm going to be dropping videos. I make videos, multiple videos throughout the day when I'm off. Um, so thank you. Thank you for watching. Take care. Bye, Jazzalicious people.